So, doing the final part of the Dawn of War 2 series review for Remlays before we get into some other games. I believe the next one is going to be um, Eternal Crusade. I have some footage from it. I'm going to do a review of it. Or it may be uh, maybe Space Hulk. I, I'll leave it up to him. So, to clarify something for those who are like, she appears on the channel. Look, I, I appear over here because I can do things Remlays can't. What do I mean by that is I have a very, very nice gaming rig. I'm a friend with Remlays from across the pond, as the British call it, i.e. I'm, I'm over here in the States. And what I do is I review games and give him some extra content and give him, and I do all this for free. The only thing he pays me back in is, is an exposure. That is to say, you know, he, he references my channel and, and, and lets you guys know about me. And in exchange, I give him all this content, no questions asked. So... That is the nature of what we do. I figured I would address it for those who keep complaining about how often I show up on his channel. Guys, it's free content for him. Who's not who's going to argue with that? So, let's talk about Dawn of War Retribution. Now that that's out of the way, um, I've beaten this game a few times. But that was back when it was on Windows Live. Yeah, I bought the game when it came out. In the meantime, uh, game options, let's go over this real quick. Uh, you can grid your hotkeys, so you can cluster them together however you would like. You can turn off the voice and all that stuff. I still don't have the graphical option because it's built in the same engine. They didn't enhance this where I could make it a borderless window. Irritates the crap out of me that I don't have borderless window as an option. I'm going to turn the brightness up a little bit for recording. Um, normally I have it down to here. But for recording purposes, so you guys can see everything nice and clear, I'm going to turn it up. And you have your basic audio options. Nothing really fancy. Uh, the frequencies are not really great. The voice sample is not amazing. This wasn't, you know, the best game in the world when it came out. I could turn it up to 128, but even then, uh, it's just not... Up, up to today's standards, it hasn't aged well. Let's put it that way. Okay, we've accepted. Are you going to crash? That would be bad. Uh, yep. We have had a error. Alright, and we're back. Okay, so have three options for play. You still have the last stand option, which was introduced in the second expansion. Which is the cooperative option. You can play virtually anyone. They actually recently released the Necron Overlord. Like, in the last two months, this guy got released. So, there you go. It's it's a game that's still receiving updates where you're waiting for Dawn of War 3. You've got your regular old multiplayer versus each other. Your army painter's still here. And then you have the campaign. And this is the interesting part about the campaign. If you're new to Dawn of War, would you like to play the tutorial mission? Press yes. If you would not, I will skip it. So, we're not just playing the Blood Ravens anymore. Though canonically, the Blood Ravens win this. And I think my sound is gone. Uh, hold on a moment. Okay, so, the game is very, very fickle about recording software. It hates it. Let's just be honest. Anyway. No, I did not want to play the tutorial. So, you can play as the Blood Ravens. You can play it in, as the Imperial Guard, the Orcs, the Eldar. You can even play as the Tyranid and the Chaos Legion. Kind of awesome. However, not really. Every campaign plays about the same. You're going to play through mostly the same missions. Now, as you can see, I've got some older campaigns that I never finished back here, and I've got some newer campaigns just for you guys. Let's load, this is when the game switched over to Steam. So let's load up the new thing that I've been building for you guys. So, here's the campaign screen. You'll notice something has changed. And that is this. You are able to deploy regular troops during battles in addition to your heroes. Now, I'm only level 3 right now. Also, something I do not like 
is that your previous progress from the last two games where they had the first two that transferred progress over as a true expansion, your la your previous progress doesn't move over with you. It's gone. Yes, Avitus and, and Cyrus and, and Tarkus and all those Marines are still here. And even your, quote, Force Commander, all still here. But the progress didn't transfer. Sorry. Now, that much said. You can arrange your squads now in two distinct formations. You can take the hero, or you can take a vanguard. And the vanguard, and without taking the hero, you get an increase to population capacity and usually a special ability, as well as these vanguard troops. Vanguard troops, once destroyed, unlike the heroes, don't get back up. From here, we have optional mission. Mission I have to do. Let's do the optional. I's been scouting, boss. Have a look at what I's found. Could be some good bits in it for us. Uh-huh. I remember. Use those shiny That's an orc. Because they's bring good luck. If there's an ambush, be at the supply depot, it will. You see why I have a problem with this. Reach the supply depot and protect the trucks. I'm, I'm really iffy about this, like, in ways that... That I can't even describe. Um, the game clearly was designed with a single force in mind to play through this. All of the factions you can pick, while they all play differently play through the same campaign. All of them play through the same campaign. This upsets me a little bit. We're going to bring our heroes in. Because we're only going to population cap of 30. That's fine. Squads. And, you know, you still get your little tips between missions you can read. Um, and missions still require to click to go in. But I'm a little irritated. You know, forget to drive on the shiny bridges for good luck. Listen up, kids. Warboss Smashface says there will be fight ahead. Uh huh. To get our gear yeah, sure. War. So just be sure to get enough trucks past the supply station for the war. We have to get moving. We can't actually go Walk down there. Boys. Let's not hit those wagons just yet. We're going to need Ludus. We're going to need Ludus in mass. Like, we're going to need so many Ludus. Go engage! Uh oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, I'm getting murdered here. And you wonder why I say this is clearly designed with the Space Marines in mind. Because obviously the Orcs aren't capable as capable of Space Marines individually. That's true. Now the silly part to me is that you can take no heroes and just take regular troops. Really? You're a melee unit. Go. What are you doing? But, yeah, this is... I'm disappointed. I can say that. Um, the first two games were astounding. Moving my camera for you guys. Because they keep changing. I, I keep forgetting that every time that the interface... That I, I go between different places, the interface completely rearranges itself. It's very counterproductive to recording. Letting you know. Fair warning.
Oh, shit. Get back here. Help with the kill again. Retreat. That's a bad thing. Kill it. Bring it down. Good job. And you're just in a constant fight to get ahead of them. And I don't know why they're falling all the way back to there, but damn it, that sucks. And of course, you know, real time strategy. Yep, we've taken lots of fire. Move your asses. F1, of course, accesses these guys. I want some Ludas. I would like some boys. And I would like them up here. Get moving and take the death guns. Yes, I want a new type of death gun. Why, Ed? We've got to hack through these guys before these trucks get too far. Fall back, run! Ah, oh, damn you. Yeah, since you don't start off with any equipment like you did in the previous games, everyone is super fragile. I'm not willing to pay to resurrect you. I'm gonna have somebody manually do it. I want you guys over here. And you guys need uh, guns. Get him back up, please. Come on, let's hack through these guys and be done with this. That's a pop cap increase, which is something we need. They're apparently sending storm boys out to get us. Let's get moving. Okay, so we have the option of which one of these we want to recover. And we probably should recover both of them because we need to get to here and block them from getting through. As you can see, it's becoming increasingly a problem. Move. And there is still the command delay, which... I was a fan of in Command to Conquer, but in, in terms of this type of strategy game, where everything's a lot more fast-paced, I'm not really a fan of. Hack it down. There we go. Now hack them down before they kill us. Come on. Beat our way through. We can pound them apart. Alright, I need more Ludus. Uh, need more requisition. So let's see if this gives us enough. Now, as you can see, the requisition system is not a continuous resource collection. Once you... It, it, it's a one-time. Which means that if those Ludas and things I ordered die, they're gone. And I can't do anything about it. You're always on a limited force mission. Fair warning.
and because of all the units and everything, it's really hard to really command this like you could in the previous games. I'm not trying to bitch or complain, I'm just letting you know that I find it incredibly difficult to constantly keep control of my units. Yay, but I'm full on capacity population right now. Okay, we can take the shortcut now. Down through here. Get to here, and we've got to block these guys from getting through with their trucks by any means necessary. Should have waited for the rest of my units. This is going to warp all my units for me. Now, the Space Marines, this is easier because you have tarantula turrets you can deploy in mass. Nope, it's not going to warp my guys for me. You guys need to get your asses right down to here. And you guys need to hurry up. Destroy those barrels to blow the bridge. And we need to blow those bridges. Yeah, we're coming with our own wall. What up now? We're gonna break your shit. See, I wish there was a pause or something so I could sit there and give orders properly. supposed to be any fighting while we was looting. The trucks are almost here. Ready them shooters, boys. Boss Smash Face says we need to keep this way clear for him. Let's kill them all. Need to smash that. You guys, we need to kill them. Thank Buster. Oh, can't use it on that. I need some sticky bombs. They destroy the shiny bridges you like. What? Oh, you spent a be lying to me, boy. And you spent me dead before I get there. Because I don't like being lied to. You're out of me, way. Yep, we broke your bridges. I work myself. Then when I start fighting... You all getting your faces smashed! Over there! Yeah. Right yeah. way! On me way to get it! Important target! Convoy has to get through there, so we know that. And we're claiming all of this as quick as we can before they get here. All alone? Yes, all alone. I want you there, over here, helping blockade. I want you guys reinforced. Place turrets at bottleneck is what they recommend. So I have the ability to call in these orc turrets now. We got more requisition. Do I have a population? I have plenty of pop. We're going to order in some more boys. And our own war truck. And give them some death guns. Because we want to be able to break their trucks. And we want to use this truck to block. You know, cock block them if we can. There we have more pop cap potentially. Let's take that. Convoy arrives in 50 seconds. So we're going to be good and set up and dug in. Uh, I need you to get down here and we could potentially get more. We have 100 population. Ordering a turret. So we have more turrets. 
And basically the strategic planning, i.e. getting all the units that I get to pick what units I have and what units I get, is before this. So all this stuff I can't order, I haven't unlocked yet. I just can't order it. So I wish I had a battle wagon or a looted tank. That'd be really nice. Or a death dread. But I don't. So we're going to order in another Luda. Here we go, boys. This is where you say the fighting was. <laughs> and we're going to get our last death exciting. cannon. Can you feel it, boys? And now we have all the units we can basically muster. So as these guys are coming in, they're just going to get shot to shit is what I'm hoping. Oh. Alright, he's dead. That was close. And here comes the first convoy truck. Now they've got to get through us. And the further they have to get, the better off we are. I know that much. So turn this truck to face them. So now they're getting bombarded by all our troops, isolated out here at this choke point, and just getting massacred. Which is kind of what we want. And we just keep breaking their convoy and breaking their shit. And so I have the the sky guy here and the commander who are basically being used as our brick that we throw at them while or our anvil, as it were, while our, all of these guys back here with the death guns and the anti-tank weapons are the hammer. And as you can see, this is not terribly hard. The convoy has to get past us. They can only come this way. We've broken the bridges. So they've got to drive all the way around here. And here comes a looted tank. That's never good for us. As soon as our guys open up, we're going to rush out into them. Go. And as you can see, we're just outranging them right now. That's all we're going to do. I mean, this is one of the problems I have with some of these missions, is you are basically just sitting back outranging your enemy and picking them off. It's not exciting. We're going to pull back so we don't take any damage and force them into more gunfire than just the death guns. Who are behind hard cover, by the way. Unless they can get a tank or something to break this, it's hard cover, as far as I can tell. It's, it's, it's heavy cover until they can get a big, bad vehicle to roll over it. And now we're sitting here, just waiting, hoping they keep coming, hoping we keep massacring them. And these also cost five population to deploy. But hey, gives us a couple turrets just in case they do get through who are covering our guys. He's dead from the laser fire. Oh yeah, an out of control vehicle can't break it either. It has to actually be a vehicle that isn't destroyed yet. Rocket volley. And he's done. Mm. 
nice try, but you're not getting in here. That's a weird boy. I'm not okay with this weird boy thing. Disembowel. They're dead. Withdrawal. Where's my boss? There's my boss. And that truck's gone. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here just bombarding him. Snazzy armor. That's cute. We are the meanest orcs. Yep, we took it all from you. Why don't you join my crew? I could always be a part of the Aura War Boss Wall. <sighs> Heavy scrap. This is Lutzen. I don't even know what that is. So I got snazzy armor. I found a big shooter. I'm just admitting that I don't know what that is because I think it's just something you could scrap for an item or something you can scrap for extra experience like you had in the previous game. But here's my biggest issue. You're no longer on limited deployments. There's no strat This strategic map may as, now, may as well not even be here. And now I pretty much get to pick between a gear item or a squad and to be quite honest we need the death dread and that's it and yeah expendable items uh, use this to gain a free item okay well I want the power claw why is the power claw not as powerful as Dehuge Chapa? never mind Uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm keeping you with the death gun. No offense, and you with the rocket launcher. And you have to be level five to wear the snazz, this the the snazzy armor. But yeah, and the other problem is, look at the level up system. It's just pick and gain a special ability type of deal. There's no control of your stats. It's just pick and gain an ability. Which to me kind of sucks. I, I don't even know if the same studio did this now. The way it feels, it feels like it's been done by a different studio. But sure enough, it was done by Relic. I get that they wanted to do something different, but it, to me, this is not. This is not what I would have asked for. This is not the direction I would have taken the game. And that's me. Um, I would have done another true expansion like you did with Chaos Rising. What you did with what was happened with Chaos Rising was phenomenal. You you continued the story. You made the previous game matter, which is a big thing nowadays. This was before you know games like Mass Effect, Soul Center Stage, where we knew that everything we did was supposed to matter in the next game. This was a concept that was just new that people didn't think would work, and Chaos Rising made it work. You get to Retribution. Not so much so. If you wanted tabletop on a computer, you play Dawn of War 1. If you wanted some, a completely new experience, you play Dawn of War 2. And now it feels like they've done a hybrid between the two. And the hybrid between the two doesn't quite fill the shoes of either one. Also, since the campaigns, basically, you do the same missions regardless of the factions you pick. Here, I'll show you this. Go to the Temple Ruins as the Tyranids. Space Marines, level 5. Oh look, I did that Blood River mission as a Space Marine. I did the Temple Ru... You do the same missions. They're not truly different campaigns. 
if you're going to give us an option for the campaign, why didn't you do what you did with Dawn of War 1 and made it truly different campaigns? It really makes it lack. It makes it very lackluster, and they all lead to the same final story. I know I'm sounding like, a droning, like I'm droning on, but that's the truth. The Last Stand editions are nice. I, I personally think that this is kind of a nice thing to have to be able to go play. I think it's so nice that I have a level 9 Tau Commander. I have a level 12 Space Marine Captain. These aren't very high level because I don't play this a hell of a lot. I only play it with friends. But I've played it. It's fun. I enjoy it. Um, but I'm not okay with the end result of what we have right now. I'm just not. And I never will be. Shield drone, by the way, we named it uh we named it Jimmy. Because the the Tau the Tau the Tau commander has to constantly come and save Jimmy like Sp like uh, Superman does for Jimmy in uh the comics. So there you go. I'm a nerd. But yeah, I can't I can justify this if you want to finish the story. But I could not justify this game otherwise. If you want to finish the story of Dawn of War 2, here you go. If you're looking for some compelling new style of gameplay or something brand new or amazing or however you want to phrase it, no. Just flat out, no. It is not super amazing. It is not the end-all be-all we were all hoping for. It is a hybridization between Dawn of War and Dawn of War 2. And the Tyranid campaign is an excellent example of this because you only have the Hive Lord as your, as your hero. You don't have any hero Tyranids. This is it. Good luck. I wish there was this dominatrix here, but I don't even know if she was out yet. So, that's Dawn of War 2 Retribution, guys. It has some replayability in the fact you can play different factions to get a few different lines and motivations here and there. But at the end of the day, you're going to play the same missions, you're going to play through the same story. With the same end goal of, of killing the Blood Ravens chapter master. I won't spoil any more of the story for you, because that is this end goal of the story. But... Some things happen, and it turns into a pretty epic fight. At the end of the day, though, the only reason I bought Retribution was to finish the story. Once I played through it once, I didn't want to play through it again. I played through a couple more games to get, give you guys like some context to how things were. But at the end of the day, I'd start new campaigns, and I'd immediately get bored because it was the same story playing out again. That's what I have to say about it. This is what you can expect to get. Um, I don't rate this very high on my list of, of, of games I own in my library. It, the Last Stand never gets old. But you only want to play it every once in a while. That's everything, guys. In the meantime, from my house to yours, this is Fiora signing out for right now. Hope Ren Lays enjoys this and hope that uh, you guys did too. Also, I'm sorry about the crashes, but that's just how it is. It doesn't like recording software at all I've, I, I have, I've had to use three different recording softwares in order to get this footage so just to let you know it really doesn't like recording software in the meantime bye bye everyone